You wouldn't want to ruin something so pristine and natural as this with artificial harmful elements, would you? So why would you make the compromise with the food you eat? Come to Carol's Diner, where everything is prepared fresh and made from scratch, especially for you. The extensive amount of snow that fell on the city during last weekend's storm has caused uproar amongst residents and business owners. After the storm settled, the city had all of their crews and equipment clearing the streets according to their snow removal plan. Although the white stuff couldn't be removed fast enough, as many residents were unable to proceed with their daily duties. Not easy to get around, but we've managed. We pay enough taxes as it is. I think it's just laziness. Nobody can do the jobs right. It's taken a while, but they're getting at it. It's not good at all. The downtown core should have been almost the first one done because everybody has to go through that one way or another, and it's a nightmare driving down there. Downtown business owners have also been voicing their frustrations with the city's snow removal plan, especially since their only source of customer parking is off of the main street. The clients of First Step Hair Studio on Central Avenue were either unable to keep their appointments with the state of the street or tried to come in and had troubles leaving, which frustrated owner of the salon, Lance Bowman. And businesses pay three to one in taxes in this city and yet we seem to be the last concern on their list anyhow. It, it seems like that. I mean, when you have to push people out because we have no parking downtown or very limited parking and you have to push people out because there's no place for them to park or they try to park, it almost seems like they're trying to scare people or, or it not encourage people to support the downtown. Just down the street is the Acropole and their business was also affected by the amount of snow piled up in the downtown core. Owner of the restaurant, John Janichos, understands the city is expanding and is now compelled to remove the snow from the service roads. Although he recommends the city increase their equipment and workforce for snow removal to keep up with the growth, which could address all areas in the city in a timely fashion. There's a whole street of downtown businesses that pay property taxes that probably did lose money Monday, Tuesday, because their main parking lot was not cleared. It was totally bogged down. So I might have lost $200 that, that day. I, I'm just giving you a number. But you got to think, another, add another 100 businesses to that and add another $200 to each business. That's a lot of money that downtown business has lost. And that's, I'm not looking at it just as myself. I'm looking at it as a whole downtown core that just got left in the dust. There's always lots of demands on the budget and uh, uh, one of the comments that I always make is for every 1% uh, tax increase that generates about $64,000 a year so um, times like this it's always a panic to to do it uh, uh, to get more uh, but uh, it's expensive to get more so we try that's why we try and deal with it uh, as best we can when severe situations like this come. According to the director of the city's engineering department, Mac Forrester, 16 staff members are devoted to clearing the streets after a snowstorm. And here's their reason for leaving the downtown area for days. Wanted to do an extended day run today with that crew. And under legislation, you have to send them home early for rest. And this way we were able to do uh, quite a, a large uh, length of arterial streets because we're, we're working well into the evening and uh, typically we begin nighttime operations at 12 midnight and that wouldn't give these, this crew sufficient time of rest. The city uses a variety of equipment to remove the snow and when you add all of the streets together their plan includes 80 kilometers. The city of Swift Current allots a quarter of a million dollars to its snow removal budget on an annual basis. Although it's clear from speaking to downtown business owners they're not happy with the city's strategy for snow removal and as a result are planning to make an appearance in front of city council to discuss some of their concerns. For Southwest TV News, I'm Valerie Lalonde.